there's no replacing man's best friend, especially on the land where a working dog is a farmer's most loyal mate. But what if dogs could fly? One farmer has found a way to make it happen, sort of, and is on the cusp of a world first breakthrough. Overlooking the rolling hills of green oats and grazing black angus, Luke Chaplin is following in the footsteps of four generations of his family mustering cattle. But he won't traverse kilometres of rough terrain. He'll move just 25 metres to set up a drone for takeoff. We're ready to go. Through a monitor with a remote control and from the comfort of his veranda, he'll move the mob down the fence line. Pretty nice there now and they're sort of all heading towards that, towards the gate. Noticing a handful are missing. Infrared cameras detect the breakaway group near a creek, the drone guiding the runaways back to the rest of the herd. Yeah, they've come together quite nicely. Introducing the new working dog on Australian farms, Sky Kelpie. It's really changed the game. So you're a lot more efficient at finding your livestock. You've also got thermal cameras and really high resolution cameras. And then we can use that drone as a form of pressure to move them. And what's been the feedback? That I mean, farmers and graziers and people on the land, they're business people primarily. And so if there is some technology that can reduce their cost of production, might make their operations safer and just efficient in general, they'll adopt it. Australia's long had a love affair with outback mustering, from jolly jumbucks and jackaroos droving through rusty dust romanticised by Banjo Patterson, to the contemporary rock star cowboys who saddled up in the air to cattle wrangle. Sky Kelpie is just a new chapter in that story that even the old guards embracing, including Darling Downs grazier John. Who, like most cattle farmers, will tell you You've got to talk to your herd. So that's just a different one to use. It's been polite to the, uh, to the cows. John uses speakers on his drone to send his 200 head of cattle back to the yards. Oh, he's registered that. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking straight at you. Some of this country here that's hilly and rocky and uh, probably a bit unsafe to be riding a four-wheeler up there. Um, the drone works. So with all your experience in the land, before drones, how were you mustering and moving livestock around? All with horses. And before the use of the trucks, we used to have to trot out in the morning to the furthest point and muster cattle back to water. But now it makes it a, a lot easier. It's capturing the attention of John's grandkids, but not exactly his wife just yet. Do you send it home and say, I'll be home in 30 minutes, put tea on? <laughs> I think I might want to get a, a bit of a bad message back. <laughs> it's expensive, fragile technology that for some might be daunting. A different direction. What you did John come say? around to the other side. Go home. Go home. <laughs> but Luke has that covered too. A computer flight simulator where you can learn the flying and mustering basics. Move. Move. Replicating the drone's features. Am yeah. I on the ground? No, you're, no you're, you're floating and you're doing well. Honestly, you're not bad. Thanks. <laughs> you sound surprised. And it's this technology that's helping Sky Kelpie move towards developing a potential world first, mustering by artificial intelligence, where livestock on a remote outback property can be moved between paddocks by a drone controlled from a head office in a capital city thousands of kilometres away. And now our standard flight time, if we went flat out on this and did nothing else, is six minutes. Yeah. Software developer Steve Halliwell. So we are able to run our algorithm and our simulator uh, and send commands to the real drone that matches the responses that we see in our software. Of course, all of this might make dogs like Bomb the Kelpie a bit nervous. Rest assured, they will always be man's best friend. It's not about getting rid of your horses and your dogs and your motorbikes and mum and dad kick them off the farm. I mean, you might want to anyway. <laughs> it, it's an integration of the technology. Very cool, but a drone is a man's best friend. Just doesn't have the same ring to it.